Thank you for supporting the Mark's Adventure series. Today, we're going to be showing you the behind the scenes of a few parts of how this show is made. First, the scripting, then some goof ups and stuff that we do in the animating process. Here's a look. Writing episode two. Hello, um, we're writing right now. We're making writing. So, Gigi, come up with a restaurant name right now. Sus Donald's. But no, that's a bit too cliche. What's a cliche? I don't even know. Sus Burgers. Oh, not sus. Among, among Burgers. No, um, not Among Us. Wall Donald's. Wall Donald's. They're known for their great walls. <laughs> Look around again. Oh, Smart Food. Smart Food. Okay. <laughs> I want to know. Oh, I'm dying. Okay. Want to know how I came up with that name? How? I looked at my phone. I was smart. Wait a minute. Smart food's the name of popcorn. <laughs> it's it? the name of popcorn. What if I call it smart sustenance and they sell popcorn? No. Or no, they sell por They sell corn pop. Well, that's the same corn. thing. Synonyms for food. Drink. Beverage and drink are literal antonyms. Why is drink a synonym then? Chow. Chow sounds like a good one. Smart chow. chow. Smart chow. chow. Smart chow. They sell burgers. Mark walks into the, the restaurant. What should be the catchphrase? <laughs> What should be the catchphrase? Like for the restaurant? Like what yes. They say to the the catchphrase that they say, um, yes. Wait, what is the name of it again? Smart again. Chow. Um, hmm, let me think of it for a second. Not your mom and not among us. Uh, uh, welcome to uh, Smart Chow. The place, the place where, where our food, food is, is not outdated. outdated. <laughs> or Smart on Chow. The place, what? The place where our food is not outdated. What? <laughs> it's not outdated. <laughs> <clears throat> but, but this place this looks, looks like, like an 80s, 80s diner. diner. Yeah, he just said... <laughs> Um, uh, I was called, uh, phones, phones were new back, back then. then. Voicing. Okay, honestly, I read through all of this, and I'm just like, <laughs> how do you want me to say, like, the last line of Flint? How am I supposed to pronounce that? <laughs> are we going, how are we going to do, like, the intervals? Um, we'll do it every section, like this, and this, like, every time there's a... No, what I'm saying is, like, there's the flint line, and then there's the mark line. I'm saying, like, flint says, ga. Mark, then what's the interval between that, like? We say it like we're in a real conversation. Okay. Testing, testing. One, two, three. My name is Mark. <coughs> Hello, my name is Mark. Testing, testing. Okay. Wait, what type of voice do you want for this? I forgot to ask that. Um, preferably, like, um... You know, like a deep voice that's like, you know, Kirk. be like, imagine a person named Flint and how they would sound. McGuire? McGuire. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <coughs> McGuire. Right, okay. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> You gotta cut me off. Could you? Oh, there's no, there's no part for that. So oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Terrible screaming. Are <laughs> <laughs> you any more quiet? I'm trying to drive here. Are you? That's my name, Flint. <laughs> then he just pulls out a Flint lock and he just bang. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> This house is very nice. Hi, house. 
Don't do that. Okay. Picking me out when you do that, bro. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> okay, next one. Now, if you're Go unexperienced, ahead. like I was, you would think that you could set some crazy early deadline and animate it as fast as you could, like super duper fast, which really did happen with episode one, but episode two, with all of its car scenes and sound effects that we had to implement, it just wasn't enough time. Which is why we had to cut a lot of the content that we had originally planned, like the part where it had cool music, like just show. And I imagined it in my head with amazing lighting, amazing graphics, an orange table, a fully colored everything, grass outside, but, you know, a lot of it either didn't make sense or was going to be way too hard to animate. The only part of this that actually got proper lighting, well, sort of, was the part where Mark was sitting in the car and the hexagons and stuff. Plus, we were only working with one animator. Sure, we had Gigi, but he was too busy coaching me and doing his own projects that he didn't have much time to do anything. Plus, even though I knew that there was a crazy deadline, and in the end I didn't even get the third episode done, I was lazy in the scene where he was trying to open the fridge. Uh, the part that I had imagined was going to be incredible. Man, even the cake alone took like 10 minutes. I don't know what I was doing there. I was animating like one keyframe a day. But, you know, that's what happens. But now we're going to be much more organized and try to get some more animators on the team before we start the next one. And, to make up for the loss of episode, we are going to have episodes 3, 4, 5, and 6, hopefully, out next time. Now you may be thinking, make the whole series and then upload it, you stupid being. Well, it's not that simple. Plus, I would just make it a movie at that point. I mean, you know, why not? But, you know, it's the whole thing of, you know, you want clicks. You want to build up attention. It's a whole thing. But I've been building up for way too long. You want to see the funniness of me and Gigi working together, being our goofy selves, doing what we normally do, animating. Let's give you that. Animating. All right, I'm recording. We're now behind the scenes. Yeah, tired of just being flat. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> so the episode's do not finish yet. What so happened? Cars tired. <laughs> cars tired. Why is the car tired? Cars tired. I like how they just got... It's somebody cars threw tired. a grenade at him and they're just cars perfectly tired. fine. Are you gonna ignore the fact they just got grenaded? Cars tired. <laughs> Cars tired. Cars tired. So, can you actually color the grenade? Oh, now, yeah. oh, Also, after the grenade explodes, just make the front of the car be a bit destroyed. Like, it's a really darker gray it's a blue color grenade. now. Oh, wait, no, he's not from. No, his grenade grenade. Oh. Right, when yeah. It, like, Ooh, good thing I caught that. His grenade yeah, would not I'm be colored. Like... The explosion is like a given. I don't know, like, you know, an explosion is colored, I guess. Bruh. This isn't All a right. 90s. Oh, hold on. I got an idea. I got an idea. Yeah. Look. Right. So, uh, you know how I said, like, make the cars front, like, be a bit destroyed and they're like, uh, more dark because like it got exploded like what if you make it so it's just full-on white because like uh, that part of it like got exploded yes. by like a oh. yeah it's kind of like paint uh paint ball right mm -hmm. you just shoot it and like it makes it that color mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> cars die Cursed. Cursed. What happened? Cursed. What happened? Cursed. 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 What happened? Cursed. 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 No, don't Cursed. take it out of context. Don't look at that. <laughs> Mark Haven. Where's it called? Um, Mark's Adventure, but it's reversed. Can I have 10 video idea right there?
thanks again for supporting the Mark's Adventure series. We appreciate your support and the fact that you even clicked on this video. I'm going to give some quick thanks to people who, if they weren't here, this wouldn't be possible. GG for life. He was an amazing coach. Everything that I showed him, he could one-up in an instant, which is a good thing. He was also an incredible actor once we needed one. Well, he will be at least. Um, can I help you, sir? I would also like to thank Lost in Craft. He did an amazing job with Flint's voice. I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. I wanted the voice deep, and I wanted it, you know, it just, he did it perfectly. There's no other real way to say it. I would also like to thank some of my friends at school. They gave me support 100%, especially Waffle Taco. He was actually in it. He was in the thing, and he did amazing on those lines. I couldn't have asked for a more annoying person. Oh, that sounds like an insult. It, it's not an insult, I promise. The final person I would like to thank is Z-Goated. When I was talking to him about the lore behind the show, which I will not reveal here for obvious reasons, he thought it was hilarious and amazing. He's even clueless to how I did it. Now, once people actually start figuring out the lore to the show, and it's correct, of course, I will actually explain it in full and why I made some things and why some things aren't actually lore. They're just mistakes. Um, there's just, there's a lot of things that I have to tell you guys, but. I want you guys to figure it out first. That's the whole point of me putting it in here. So I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes. Leave a like if you want to. Please do subscribe because we have more episodes coming. Goodbye.